The NASAM's air defense system can launch 54 missiles in 12 seconds. One battery of a system has three platoons or nine launchers with six missiles each. Join us for War is Algebra. I am Daniel Salem. Watch this. The peculiarity of the current war that Russia has launched against Ukraine in the center of Europe is the massive use of Shay-type kamikaze drones by the Russian army during air attacks. And if stationary air defense systems have been developed to counter missile threats, there's no specialized weaponry globally for downing shots. Therefore, Ukrainians have developed their own system to fight drones using mobile fire groups. And this know-how that has impressed the entire world. In this episode, we will tell you about the mobile fire groups and details of their operations defending the skies. The Ukrainian military say one should never underestimate the enemy, and the Russian army confirms this. It's a strong and cunning opponent, and we must be preparedness for anything. Everyone thinks of Russians as simpletons wearing ear flaps and felt boots, understanding nothing. But in reality, we all come from the same educational system, universities, institutes, various technical programs, and they also have qualified specialists. Our adversary is not foolish, they learn. They conduct reconnaissance, have technical means, and have an agency that reveals our positions. In our country, we practice mobile fire groups. Mobile groups are effective because they are constantly moving, and the enemy cannot know where we are or where we will be on that day. We take risks because we move, but we are maneuverable. A mobile fire group is a small military formation typically comprising two to five well-trained soldiers. They constantly move in off-road vehicles and are tasked with rapidly countering enemy aerial attacks. Such tactical units are crucial to the armed forces of many countries. However, only in Ukraine do mobile fire groups not only conduct operations on the ground but also effectively defend the sky into which Russian military launch missiles and drones to destroy peaceful cities and civilian infrastructure of Ukraine. I have a young child, a son, when the explosion started. He thought they were fireworks. He tells me, Dad, do you hear that? Those are fireworks. But we understood that, no. They were not fireworks. We work directly in air defense. What is air defense in Ukraine anyway? Air defense in Ukraine is about protecting the skies of our country, and our country is first and foremost about Ukrainians, living people, whose homes are targeted by missiles and drones. This night, November 25, 2023, the enemy launched a record number of strike UAVs against Ukraine. The main target was Kiev. About 75 strike UAVs of the Shahid-131 and Shahid-136 types were launched. 71 were destroyed by air defense. Thank you everyone for the defense tonight. I especially want to highlight the combat work of the Air Force's mobile fire groups and the defense forces of Ukraine. Almost 40% of the destroyed targets are credited to them. Our brigade has already shot down more than one shade, even a missile. I believe this is effective. This is similar to hunting. If you don't hit the target, it can have serious consequences, so it's important not to delay. The crew of a mobile fire team typically consists of four people, a commander, a gunner, an assistant, and a driver. All of them remain at their position until the shade crosses the Ukrainian border. We are on constant combat duty, so we are stationed at a certain location. The military on duty constantly monitors information on the radio and specialized programs that track aerial targets. When a readiness command is received, the machine is immediately started up. The fighters move on compact, fast, and agile vehicles. These vehicles' beds are loaded with a variety of weapons, each powerful and precise. This approach is reminiscent of the so-called Toyota War, the concluding stage of the conflict between Libya and Chad during the years 1986 to 1987. In that conflict, success favored those with longer-range weapons and swifter vehicles. For mobile fire units, timing is crucial as they have a mere six minutes to reach their operational positions. All mobile fire groups deploy for their tasks. Each squad has a designated position and a sector to fire upon, carefully chosen to prevent harm to civilians or friendly forces. Constant communication is maintained between all groups. 
Thanks to this, we can timely recognize threats and report to our partners working on their systems. Overall, the defense of Ukraine is the sum of small reports, and this is very important. Each report allows other groups to analyze the information and prepare to destroy the target. What can I say about the work itself? The main task of our groups is to identify, recognize, and destroy enemy targets. Regarding weapons, we use machine guns. Yes, we work directly with machine guns. That's enough to destroy a shape. This is ZU-2. An installation from the post-World War II period, you can pour out a good barrage from it, and pour out so much that it's unlikely the shade will fly any further. This is ZU-2, a twin anti-aircraft gun. ZU-2 is intended to engage lightly armored or unarmored enemies in the sky. Why such a name? It's very simple. The machine guns are paired and fire simultaneously. The design allows both barrels to operate at once. Specifications Type 14.5 by 114 mm Twin Heavy Anti-Aircraft Machine Gun Number of Barrels 2 Weight 649 kg Length 3.87 meters Width 1.37 meters Height 1.1 meters Maximum Range 8,000 meters Maximum Altitude 5,000 meters Effective Altitude 1,400 meters we use armor-piercing incendiary tracer rounds. The name speaks for itself, they pierce armor, ignite, and the tracers indicate the bullet's path. We also use immediate action incendiary rounds, they instantly ignite the hit target. Earlier, the installations were chassis mounted, but this isn't mass production. Caring people helped by providing materials and specialists to assemble everything. Before, everything was separate. The anti-aircraft machine gun installation and the GZ-66 truck. The GZ-66 is the vehicle currently equipped with the installation. Generally, it can be mounted on any vehicle. The GZ-66, despite being an older model off-road vehicle, remains maneuverable due to its relatively small size. Specifications. Weight empty, 3.44 tons, maximum load, 2 tons, length, 5.65 meters, width, 2.34 meters, height, 2.44 meters, engine, GMZ 4.2 liter petrol, engine power, 115 horsepower, maximum road speed, 95 kilometers per hour, range, 875 kilometers. Each mobile fire group has its own vehicle, its own weapons but all units act according to a unified algorithm. Upon arrival at the position, the shooter and loader load the machine gun belt until they hear a click. Then, by hand, we guide the cartridges into the bolt latches. The loading process includes placing cartridges and reporting to the commander that we are ready to fire. And as soon as the commander spots a target and calculates its distance, he points us in the direction. And we understand from where it's flying. Usually, we can hear a Shahid flying from 10 kilometers away. The shape flies with a sound reminiscent of a scooter's engine. And this serves as an additional cue for targeting. Here we have a site with mechanisms for horizontal and vertical aiming. This is the maximum. To start shooting, we press the pedal with the right foot. The machine gun fires short bursts. The rate of fire is up to 600 rounds per minute. The first automatic burst is for sighting, that is, short, as if we've tapped the pedal with our foot. If we don't hit the target, I adjust and then continue shooting. I watch, catch, don't catch, and give a longer automatic burst. For instance, if a Shahid is flying straight, I give minimal lead. If I am leading it to the right or left, I must give lead accordingly. The soldiers have very little time to hit their target, because the shots are fast and quickly fly through their firing zone. If we go beyond this sector of fire, we stop firing, and we report to the operative on duty. 
Military have devised a system to protect the skies over Ukraine while we've seen its effectiveness during the day. But how do you operate at night when the enemy object is not visible? Stay tuned and in our next episode, where we'll unveil the nocturnal operations of these agile defense units. We have motivation. We are on our land. We are Ukrainian. We will never surrender our land.